so guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to undervolt the i7 10750h and this video is only about this cpu okay and if you are using a laptop in which had uh, in which the i7 10750h then this is the video which you have to look and uh, now i'm gonna tell you everything that i did to make my thermals as good as possible okay so in the top right corner right now uh, here's a tab so you can go and check out this video you can get the idea like how my laptop thermals is performing okay so now come to undervolting stuff so here it is the throttle stop and i use this software and i love this software to for the undervolting and overclocking kind of stuff okay so these two things many people uh, were asking to me so clock mode like 100 percent or a set multiplier but uh, in intel 9th and 10th gen this will not impact any of your performance and maybe 8th gen also so you do not have to be worried about if these checked or not they are not gonna make any kind of changes to your cp performance okay now the next step which you have to select is the speed shift epp this should be at zero okay zero means that your clock speed will be you know boost forward to towards the maximum clock speed and they are trying to hold max clock speed on all cores as much as possible and uh, here is bd pro shot i've already told in another video i will give you the link in the description if you want to check that out you can get full detail about these and speed step check this and c1e okay now come to the next part which is okay people are also asking me about the options and tpl setting so i will go to fivr later so first of all let's go to options so here i did nothing i just checked this profile ac profile because when my charge is connected to a laptop then this profile work okay so and if you do not do this uh, it will not impact your performance it will automatically do undervolting stuff when you turn on the throttle stop okay now move to tpl so people were asking me how your thermals are that good and uh, have you make any changes right here like TPL that's obviously mean turbo power limits then no guys I've literally didn't make any changes right here this uh, these settings are all stock and preset I haven't make any kind of changes here so, okay so I just set click okay now the main part is the undervolting which is right here FIVR so I'm gonna suggest you two things uh first of all if you do not want to you know down clock your cpu okay the i7 10750h can maximum clock up to 4.3 gigahertz on all core while gaming okay if you seriously do not want to down clock your cpu you can set the undervolting value to minus 105 which is uh, my this profile right here as you can see on my mouse cursor this is the second profile game when i need the you know maximum out from my cpu and uh, when i get maximum thermals and uh, like at least 99 percent the same performance as the second profile which is this one so what do you have to do to get a best thermals down clock this to like 4.1 gigahertz okay because 4.1 and 4.3 will not gonna make any kind of uh, like huge noticeable difference in games and performance okay so that what i will suggest you to do first and uh, here is the thing first of all your clock will gonna look like this as right here 5.0 4.9 4.7 and like this okay so what you have to do you have to just down this from this first active core from here to 4.1 okay and when you do this then you'll be able to like you know undervolt your uh, values to like minus 125 minus 30 but i will suggest you to first try minus 120 millivolt okay right here and this uh, if this value will stable for you then you can try like 125 or 30 but i think for these 4.1 gigahertz minus 125 will be pretty much good you have to just unlock here uh, from here if you already know then it's okay and uh, here, uh, this this well these same values you also have to make changes to your cpu catch okay when you click here you have to also make the same changes minus 125 millivolt and uh, you do not have to mess with any intel gpu igpu blah 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 okay so this is it for the end voting and also check this okay say voltages immediately and apply and then okay so this these are like very small steps for the under voting and uh, this is it and i definitely suggest you guys to use cooling pad if you are using any kind of gaming laptop because that will help you a lot to maintain your temps of the cpus and the whole laptop okay so that's it 
and i hope you guys like this video find this helpful give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share this will help me a lot and i catch you in the next one take care for now bye bye